Good evening and welcome to Celebrity Science. Woo! <laughs> celebrity Science is a show where a celebrity, a famous celebrity, comes here to learn a bit about science from a specialist. Oh, a I'm the specialist. So to start with, our topic today is adaptation. So Christian, would you like to tell us a few things about um, what you've done and where you've been? Wow. Uh, well, my job is to try to understand how the brain adapts itself when facing new kind of situations. So to have new kind of situations, the best is to go in places where you will leave a lot of new situations and it will be extreme environment. So I decided to run an expedition in the four more extreme environments on Earth, which is desert, the Tashtelut in Iran. It's the hottest place in the world and it's really hot. We will talk about it a bit later. Okay. Uh, in uh, Pora area in Siberia, North Siberia, where it's one of the coldest in the world, in rainforest in Brazil, and in the Patagonian Channel in the south of South America, where you have the more changing places in the world. You have more than 20 change in, the, in the only one day about climate. So it's really an environment where you will face a lot of changes and we can run expedition on studies about how the brain transforms itself when facing this kind of, of situations. So with this introduction, we can move on to our first game. This is just, you will see a number of uh, situations behind on the slides okay. in which you have to match each situation with the appropriate metrics, with the appropriate numbers. So, okay, I got this. You have to match with the four, following four areas that Christian has visited you have to match the correct temperature. Blue Desert is D. Patagonia, uh, I think, would be uh, B, minus 10 Celsius, right? I'm going great, don't tell me. Wow. Amazon Rainforest, uh, probably 44, so C. And Yakutsk, which Last we one. all know, Yakutsk. <laughs> yes? We well no place. <laughs> Okay, Kanska is um, A, minus 58. Thank you. Let's see the right answers, please. So I was right. Yes. Well done. Very nice. I was actually right. So now you're, you're kind of an explorer now. Woo! So, great, yeah. Let's move on to the next question, which is about the rain. How many millimeters of rain uh, you have to match them with the... Uh, the millimeters of rain to the places. To the places, yes. It's of getting uh, easier by the question. Yes. So, uh, okay. So we have uh, zero millimeters. I'm going to go with Lut Desert. So A. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Amazon Rainforest D. Mm -hmm. So A, D, and then uh, 330 millimeters. I'm going to go with Yakuts. Yakutsk. So it's A, D, B, C. Okay, let's have the right answers. What? You're wrong with Patagonia. Patagonia was wrong. Yeah. Ah. So it's you know what? I, I'm basically, we're the same, you know, we, I could do what you do probably. Yeah. With the difference that I would be dead in the first hour. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, we will, we'll try it. Now, no. Next year, come with me. I'm not going to find uh, out one. That's interesting also because, you know, these numbers are interesting. Patagonia is a place on Earth where it rains the most. You have 10,000 millimeters of water in one month. It's huge. Uh, it's why it's you, you made, in fact. Mo much more interesting is a five millimeter in Yakutsk. Yakutsk. Normally, under 40 degrees, minus 40 degrees, there's no rain at all. It's impossible physically. Theoretically, it can't rain. But I had some rain at minus 50. And that's something we can't explain right now. We don't, we don't understand how it can rain at minus 50. 
So we're still trying to understand that. Wow. At this point, I think we should move on to the next game. You have to guess which is the most difficult place that Christian has to sleep. To sleep. Okay, so uh, I think the most difficult place for Christian to sleep was uh, was probably the probably Yakutsk because of the minus 58. It's it's you know when you fall asleep and uh, things start falling off. I think that would be <laughs> probably the most difficult thing to survive. You know, like you know going for a nap and then your hands. They, they, they fall off. But it's mainly the idea. Because I think it would be really easy to sleep in the desert, in, in Lut Desert, because you pass out from the heat. <laughs> <laughs> so you sleep all day, as you said. No, yes. I'm kidding. No. Uh, no, I'm going to go with uh, Yakutsk because of the cold and the extreme temperature. Cold. Is this the right answer? Yeah, it is. Okay, it let's is. give him a clap. <clears throat> And you want to tell us why it's a in it's fact, right answer? It's interesting because in this kind of temperature, minus 60 degrees, when you breath, it, pro it freezes instantly. It just get out of your, of your mouth and it's frozen. So everything in your tent gets frozen. And as long as you, as you smell, as you, as you breathe, you have more and more ice on your tent and on you. <laughs> um, that's crazy. So, so you, so as you are breathing, you are encasing yourself. Yes, in ice. that's it. So your breath kills you. Exactly. Uh, I thought that bad breath was killing people, but obviously. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is funny is, you know, your tent gets more and more iced. So there are a lot of eyes in the, in, in, the, in the tissue of your tent, in the fabric. So as long as you move, you move the fabric, and everything go down. So it's it's raining eyes on you inside the tent. <laughs> nice place, right? You have icicles from yes. your breath, and then when you move, they fall. Exactly. <laughs> this should be an Airbnb, right? <laughs> All right, let's move to the next question. Where, where is the most difficult place for Christian to eat? I don't know why we should ask anything uh, else after Yakutsk. <laughs> but, uh, okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna move beyond that. I'm gonna say, uh, Amazon rainforest because probably when you take out a sandwich to eat, a monkey steals it. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, it could be. It could it's, be. It's more insect inside, you know. <laughs> you, you try to eat something and suddenly there's something moving on it. <laughs> and then, oh shit, what is it? <laughs> but it's not that. Is this the right answer? No. Okay. It's what not Amazon. Right? Try another one. Try another one. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Yakutsk <laughs> <laughs> because it's obviously the same. <laughs> because and I have the reason why because when you are breathing you die in Yakutsk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, I have so, you so many it. I have so many questions for your childhood, man. <laughs> it could be that. It could be that. But again, it's not Yakutsk. It's it not. could be, because for example, to eat in Yakutsk, I need two hours to, to, to melt a bit my food with, with a stove, and it's crazy, and it will freeze in just one or two minutes, so you just have one minute to eat. It's, <laughs> oh, you know, you're a bit barbarian. <laughs> but it's not it. The most difficult place is Lut Desert. Lut uh, Desert. Okay. Why? Why? Because it's three percent humidity, and you need humidity in your food to swallow it. So without humidity, when you try to eat something, it's like uh, something really dry in your, in your mouth and you can't swallow. It's awful to try and you die. That's a nice impression <laughs> of, of Lut Desert. <laughs> yes, so it's really, really difficult. And for example, in the Lut Desert, I was able just to eat 900 calories per day. I can't eat more, so I, I lost like 15 kilos. Because 50 kilos? 50 kilos. Yes. 15. 15, okay. 15, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the next question, which is... <laughs> which okay, is that's easy. That's easy, man. Easiest place to go to the toilet. Okay. I'm going to say Yakutsk. <laughs> <laughs> Again? <laughs> For the obvious reason, because 
No, 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 I'm kidding, right? <laughs> Try to although, explain it. <laughs> although I have some, some questions about number two in Yakutsk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so. We, we don't want to talk about number two in Yakutsk. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, maybe even not number one. But it's maybe, it could be Yakutsk. It's really difficult to try. You have, you know, uh, when you go to toilets, bodily liquids. Two, in one minute you will be frozen. So you have one minute to do everything. Oh my God, but one minute to do everything? Yes. I take about 18 minutes in the toilet. Yeah, it's because you read something. <laughs> and if I, I have, if I have river, a, if yeah, I have I a candy grass, it's <laughs> been an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as I said, as I have nothing to read, so it's okay. But maybe it's Amazonia. Okay, um, the Amazon, you say? Yeah, because just, just think something. What? You're in the middle of the night. Suddenly you have a number two. And you open uh, your net. Yeah, the tent. And as long as you open it, there's a lot of insects going inside your net. And you have something else. And after you, you try to go outside your hammock on your net, and you hear a lot of noise, and you never know when you try to do something which animals is surrounding you. <laughs> and they like the smell. Oh my God. No. I don't want to say more. Do you have pictures? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but, yeah. but tell us, since you mentioned it, how is it going to the toilet in Yakutsk? Well, <laughs> you have, yeah, the, the man already said you have one minute. Yeah, yeah the thing <laughs> is, you can't go in the in toilet outside the tent. It's impossible, so you have to do everything inside the tent. Okay. So for the world, number one, you in your sleeping bag with a little bottle, <laughs> and you do it. And it's good, because inside the bottle is hot. And you let the bottle inside the sleeping bag. You just hope really well, but it won't happen. <laughs> With every sentence, he says it, it gets better. <laughs> it's, it's, it's beautiful, man. <laughs> Let's have a big applause for them. Okay. Oh, so for me too. Are you ready? Are you ready? <clears throat> yeah, and go. What you did in uh, the rainforest with the bug on your back, you, you, you couldn't... Uh, I crossed the rainforest, I walk, I... Yes, yes, you said it, what did you do? Walk, walk. Yes, yes. that's right, correct. Yes. Uh, you are not this world. <laughs> you, you are an, an, another species. You are not what the rest of us are. Yes. You are not a... I'm not a man. With... with no, Shit, you are I'm not... a man, yes. You are, you are not a... Um, you, are, you are an alien. You are not a... A human. Human, yes. You are not a human. Never. Okay, Yakutsk. <laughs> Cold. First word. First word that comes in mind. Yakutsk. Cold. The... this... But uh, it falls on your head. <laughs> ah, ice. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, type, type. Oh, oh, type. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, three. I got three. And now, Christian, is your turn. Okay. Um, this is. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. One, two, three, go. Dash to root. Is a the what? The hottest place in the world is a uh, loot desert. <laughs> loot desert. Uh, it's what I can't have in the desert. Is in my mouth I put some and I can't swallow it. Humidity. No, I can't swallow it. The food. Yes, <laughs> food. <laughs> uh, it's what avoid. Um, it's uh, my net avoid in in the rainforest. There's a lot of... Insects! They, they try to, to beat me. Mosquitoes! Bye! Uh, I need a lot in the desert, but it evaporates immediately. Sweat! Uh, yes, but what Humidity. I... Humidity! Wait, what, what I take... Ice! <laughs> no, no, in the desert. It's... In the desert? You... Before it's ice, it's... It's, it's water! Yes! And um, Yakutsk is in... Hell! <laughs> no! Time. Yakutsk is... <laughs> Time! <laughs> nice! Before we close, uh, I would like to, if you would like to tell us, what are your um, outcomes or impressions out of all the expeditions that you've done so far? What are the 
outcomes? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's 20 years, a bit more than 20 years I run expeditions now. Um, um, what, I, what I think is, the more important thing I discover, it's a really obvious thing. It's that humans are made to live together and to collaborate. Mm -hmm. Alone, you can do nothing. You can try things, but you are good and you can build things only when you collaborate. And we build everything in our earth because we collaborate. So I really do think that you can be the strongest man in the world, you can be the smartest man in the world. You are nothing if you are alone. This is, what are your um, takeaways from today? Before we began, I asked Christian, where do you get the courage to, to do all those things? And he said, well, you know, courage is a really, really relative thing because you have the courage to go on stage. Well, actually, it's not the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> but anyway, I see a pioneer, I see like a modern day Amundsen, you know, testing his limits to, and bringing back the results for, for everybody to use. And uh, I think he's, he's, really, uh, he's really something else. He's like a, like a Superman. And uh, I'm not going to Yakutsk ever. <laughs> That's it. Okay, Thank so you. at this point, <laughs> I would like to thank um, our guests, um, Christian Klott and... Um, My pleasure. And this is Rubos. Thank you very much. For thank coming you for having here. me. Um, you can watch more links uh, just here. And you can, don't forget to um, follow our channel, Celebrity Science, here. <laughs> And of course, you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.